Thanks for watching this Light Reading video production. I'm Phil Harvey. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Light Reading, and I'm joined today by Jonathan Davidson of Cisco, and we're going to be discussing some of the technology mile markers along the way to the internet of the future. Uh, Jonathan, welcome, and thanks for being here today. It's absolutely great to be here with you again, Phil. Look forward to the conversation. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for making the time. Um, we, we've got, you know, uh, a, an interesting kind of uh, mile marker to talk about in terms of the uh, the pandemic. We just crossed over um, the year anniversary of the pandemic, and of course, all things uh, in consumer and business life have been. Uh, digitized at a more accelerated pace, you know, during the uh, uh, during this time. Um, what are the consequences of this change uh, on the digital divide? Well, it's a it's a great question, and I think one of the things that has really come home for for all of us is the fact that the digital divide is real, and it was made even more real by all of us having to go and and work from wherever we call home, uh, and we saw the real gap between those who have connectivity or enough connectivity and those who don't have enough connectivity. Uh, they're be unable to work or unable to, to school. And even here in Silicon Valley, uh, the home of where all of this technology is invented, we saw people who uh, were going to school and unable to get the right level of connectivity. And it really brought home the fact that there's 3 billion people around the world who are either underserved or completely unconnected from the internet. So we have a long way to go to be able to bring all of these people uh, onto the internet and give them access to ability to learn and to work and uh, to communicate with uh, with family members as as time goes on as well. Yeah, that's a good a, a good point. It did help uh, kind of underscore uh, the the great need for connectivity everywhere and and not just kind of you know not just basic connectivity, but you know kind of enhanced because of what we're doing now, uh, video conversations, distance learning, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so to help with the digital divide, as you noted, um, you know, service providers need to do a couple of things. Of course, they need to expand their network coverage, and they also need to make that con uh, connectivity uh, more affordable um, and deliver it more affordably. Um, how is Cisco addressing the economics of networking to to help out here? Well, it's it's important that we really stay on the cutting edge of innovation. It's critically important that we continue to invest in each of the different aspects. We have to invest in silicon so we can have the, the best networking silicon on the world at, at the greatest level of efficiency. So 15 months ago when we, when we launched the Internet for the Future, uh, we came out with one piece of silicon. And since then, we've added nine more pieces of silicon. So we have 10 unique pieces of silicon across multiple different use cases to help our customers move forward and really decrease the cost per bit. We've of course wrapped that with a whole set of software and, and we've wrapped that with a whole new set of systems and innovation uh, as well. Not to mention the fact that we've continued to innovate and build our own optics as well, which you put all those things together, we expect that to be able to dramatically lower the cost of actually moving a bit from point A to point B. Yeah, it's interesting because you the internet of the future has been, um, you know, uh, a key thing theme for Cisco, uh, you know, building that uh, Internet of the Future. Uh, this idea of uh, changing network economics is, of course, a key uh, uh, result uh, or, or sort of a key accomplishment on the way to uh, achieving the Internet of the Future. As we're um, talking about this kind of new economic model, Let's get into like how the architecture itself has to change. So, how does the uh, the converged SDN architecture that Cisco talks about support this theme of of reaching the Internet of the future? Yeah, it, it, exactly right. You know, we've reached kind of the end of where we can just go and simply have higher discounts to get the efficiencies you need. We know that our service provider customers capex has been flat for over five years now. But bandwidth growth is growing anywhere between 30 and 50 percent. And last year, in, in a lot of places, because of the pandemic, grew closer to 100 percent. So we need to not only innovate, as I was talking about, but we also need to dramatically simplify the architecture where you can have a common network. So instead of having a separate network for mobile backhaul and a separate network for business services and a separate network for consumer services, a separate network for TDM services, 
You want to collapse all those down into a converged SDN transport network. You want to make it converge from a subscriber management perspective as well, because there's three different types of subscriber management software. There are one for mobile, one for cable, and one for all other access. And those should be simplified as well. And it's just a dramatic simplification. And we know, having been around for several decades now, that simplification always wins. It lowers not only your your cost of capex but your cost of opex as well which translates into direct savings and also agility for for those csps out there yeah that's a great point about um you know the kind of convergence of networks it used you know when we talked about convergence in the past you know kind of the early part of the the, the tech industry was all about it was always device specific um, but like you point out there the service providers have um, evolved over the years to have all of these different services basically running on their own networks or networks that were addressing a specific type of consumer. And uh, once that's simplified, then then arguably they'd be able to deliver uh, lower cost per bid across the uh, across the spectrum. Um, so uh, let's delve in just a little bit more to this uh, this idea, the, con the converged SDN transport architecture. So a key part of that is the routed optical networking solution. Um, how does that help simplify service provider networks? And then going back to our theme, uh, you know, cut down the cost of connecting more people. Yeah, so this is a fundamental change about how networks are built. We've been building networks the same way with you, know, you start with an optical network and, and then many people layer on an OTN network and then you layer your IP network on top of that. And that's that's been it was, that was the right way to do it for the last couple of decades. But what we've seen is you're just adding cost and complexity. And just like in the past, you know, we used to have IP networks running over TDM networks. We believe the future is going to be where all services, Lambda services, OTN services, will, will run over native IP networks. And there's a couple of big pieces of technology that actually enable this to happen. First of all, was the silicon that I started with. So now we've got over 25 terabit chips that dramatically can lower the cost per bit. And that's innovation number one. Innovation number two is, is really about ZR optics. So this is taking those transponders that used to be inside of your DWDM systems and moving them down to pluggables and you plug them directly into routers. And we see this as a journey over the next two, three, four, five years. But fundamentally, we believe every single network will move to this network architecture because we've seen up to a 45% savings in building out this new architecture. I know people throw around numbers all the time. We've actually analyzed 50 service provider networks over the last year and a half. We've done all of the modeling to see what current mode of operation is and future mode of operation is. So we can tell you definitively that the future mode that we're talking about is in fact the best, most cost effective way to build out this network infrastructure. Okay, so by uh, addressing innovation at all levels, starting at the chip level, going up to the systems and then the software, um, having a, a new network architecture that includes routed optical networking as part of that architecture that will get us to a place of uh, simplifying networks and delivering uh, more bits for less cost. Am I, am I, is that sum it up? You got it right. And, and the whole outcome of all of that is, is we can have a greater amount of capacity, bandwidth, connectivity, connecting all corners of the earth. Uh, and that rising tide will lift all boats of knowledge and business and, and so forth. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to play a very small part in, uh, in helping uh, close the digital divide. All right. And we'll be watching. Uh, uh, Jonathan Davidson from Cisco, thanks so much for uh, taking the time today. I appreciate it. Thank you.